While the rates of new bladder cancers and deaths from bladder cancer have dropped in recent years, did you know that men are three times more likely to get bladder cancer than women? Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Lee from the Mass General Cancer Center. So what is bladder cancer? Well, your bladder is the hollow organ in your lower abdomen that stores urine. Bladder cancer typically starts in the cells lining the bladder. Bladder cancer is most common in older adults, but you can get it at any age. So what are bladder cancer symptoms? The most common symptom of bladder cancer is blood in the urine. Blood can turn urine a rusty or bright red color. If you see signs of blood in your urine, it's important to call your doctor. But not everyone with bladder cancer will have noticeable blood in their urine. We can also use a urine test to detect microscopic amounts of blood. Other possible bladder cancer symptoms include frequent, painful, or burning urination, the urge to go even when your bladder isn't full, and frequent urination at night. How is bladder cancer diagnosed? Well, doctors commonly perform three evaluations if you have blood in your urine. A urine test, a CT urogram, and a cystoscopy. The urine cytology test looks for abnormal cells in the bladder. The CT urogram is an imaging test that provides detailed pictures of your bladder. And the cystoscopy is performed by a urologist, who's a doctor focused on problems of the urinary system. During this procedure, your provider inserts a long, thin tube called the cystoscope into your urethra. That's the hole where urine comes out. The cystoscope has a tiny camera that lets your doctor see inside your bladder. Your doctor may also remove a small amount of tissue from inside your bladder for testing. We call this a biopsy. While the three evaluations aid in the diagnosis, only the biopsy will prove that there is cancer in the bladder. How do we treat bladder cancer? Your treatment options depend on many factors, including the stage of the cancer, which describes the extent of the disease, as well as your overall health and your treatment preferences. Your care team may include genitourinary cancer specialists, who are urologists, radiation oncologists, and medical oncologists. To determine if the cancer is only in the bladder or is spread to other organs, we perform staging CT scans of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis. If the cancer is not spread and is only in the bladder, treatment options may include surgery to remove the cancer, which sometimes requires removal of the entire bladder, or radiation and chemotherapy are sometimes indicated to eradicate the cancer cells and allow a patient to keep their bladder. If the cancer is spread to other organs, we usually rely on whole body systemic treatments as opposed to surgery and radiation. These can include chemotherapy drugs to shrink or destroy tumors, immunotherapy to inspire your immune system to fight the cancer, targeted therapy that attacks abnormal proteins found in your specific cancer cells, and clinical trials that offer access to new drugs and targeted therapies based on your cancer's genetic makeup. The good news is that we detect most bladder cancer before it spreads, when it's easier to treat. Early detection can lead to easier treatment and bladder preservation so you can continue to urinate normally. We treat hundreds of these types of cancers every year at Mass General Cancer Center, many of them rare and complex. Our experience ensures that you get the latest advancements and most effective treatments. We are here for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Lee. To learn more about other types of cancer, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.